Yes, well, the man who's involved in all of those projects is none other than Trevor Horn, who's here now. Hello. Trevor, you must be the most successful producer in the country just now. I mean, you really must. Is this putting well, an enormous amount of pressure I'm on you? I'm not really. There are other people that are more successful than me. There's a guy called Mott Langer and there's a guy called uh, Quincy Jones. So I'm not the most successful. We certainly had the most uh, different projects. I mean, you've done everything from things like Dollar to Frankie Goes to Hollywood. Everything. I mean, is there any one of these projects more important to you? Than the others. I think the most important thing to me is uh, ZTT Records uh, at the moment. But I mean, I've enjoyed them all, you know. Looking back to Dollar, I mean, Dollar were great fun. I, whatever happened to them, you know? I don't know. You tell us. It's <laughs> I your don't fault. know either. <laughs> <laughs> what about ZTT Records? Because I think most people know you at the moment for being the man behind Frankie Goes to Hollywood. I mean, what, what are your thoughts about how that's going? Well, I'd rather be the man behind Frankie than be in front of them. Uh, <laughs> Well, the, I've got to, I'm doing a propaganda album and uh, I've got to, I've signed a young lady called Anne Pigal to, uh, to ZTT and uh, we've also got an Art of Noise album that's come out this week. I think it's come out this week and, and a single as well from that album. So we've got a lot on the go. This Art of Noise, this is rather bizarre because the Art of Noise, everyone thinks it's a band, but it doesn't really, it's just you, Paul Morley and two technicians who are doing the Art of Noise. Look, no, it isn't really. What are you doing? It's, John, it's a guy called Johnny and Charlie, Ga Gary Lang and Anne Dudley, myself and Paul Morley. But it's just us going crazy in the studio, really, having a lot of fun. In fact, we're hoping to actually play live. Maybe, with, maybe we might even play live on the tube if we can figure out a way to do it, you know. But, but the trouble is, uh, people like us, we just look so boring, you know. Don't I mean, say that, Trevor. What am I going to do, stand boring. up and play a keyboard? It looks so <laughs> tedious, doesn't it? Now, you can think awfully fed up with people saying to you, you're, you know, you're more important than Frankie Goes to Hollywood. How many instruments are they playing and how much of it is your technical wizardry? Is that really annoying you? I mean, does it matter? Well, I think if you look at the records, you'll see that my name is still much smaller than theirs on the record. But you're still credited for writing a lot of the tracks on the new album. I'm not credited for writing any of them. Are you not? No, no, I'm credited for writing some of the Art of Noise things, but not Frankie. They write all of their own stuff apart from one track a guy called Bruce Springsteen wrote, I think, and mm -hmm. another track a couple of guys called Backrack and David wrote. But apart from that, Frankie wrote most of it. They wrote most of it. But I, I, do, I, I don't really think it's that important, to be quite honest with you. I don't think producers are that important. Not, not, not in this particular situation not in the media I mean they're important in the studio as much as to say you have a producer you have a director and they're pretty important to you it's the same for Frankie but you must admit that even though you think that the media make a great big deal at the moment of the role of producer I mean it's a bit like it was in the early 70s where the producers role is almost as important as the artists it's becoming a bit pompous isn't well, it the, tr the trouble is because a lot of the artists have got really boring you see I mean they're kind of wimpy <laughs> a lot of them you know what I mean so what you're gonna do you're gonna talk to the artist half the time they don't know they they don't know what's been been going on so you might as well talk to the producer so you say that the producer is much more I'm creative in, and exciting in this, and in this, than the artist. in this particular case I would, I would i would say that frankie are much more interesting than me but i'm saying that in the case of other people you know that I'm, i wouldn't mention any names but uh yeah well when, when you're on your deathbed and looking back over the life of trevor horn what would you like to be remembered for what's the most important thing to you what would i like to be remembered for I'd like to <laughs> I'd like to be remembered for being a good father to my children and a good husband to my wife <laughs> Nothing and a good son to career. my parents and uh, I'd like to just think I enjoyed it you know I see well we could ask for more than that Trevor <laughs> certainly don't be well thank you for talking to us now what we're going to see is the film that we actually shot of Frankie Goes to Hollywood doing relax and this is the very film is it not that you actually saw on the tube and signed them up on the stage yes I, I was sitting in a, a dressing room with yes and I saw and here it is <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.